Let's hope that's the only thing they do on the boards. Uh, now I'm here with all our Dorothys. Uh, now, Danielle, obviously saved by the Lord last week. Great comments from this week. How important is his approval to all of you? Well, I think, you know, we can all be agreed that Andrew Lloyd Webber is the biggest man in music across the world and musical theatre. So I think, you know, it's pretty obvious that his approval would just be absolutely phenomenal to anybody and that's something that, you know, they aim to achieve. And uh, Jenny, here you are auditioning, fighting for a, a West End role. But is it true <laughs> that you've never even seen a West End show? I'm glad you find that funny, Graham. <laughs> um, no, it's true. Like, I've never been to the, the West End before. I've never actually... This is my first time in London. Um, and it is quite scary when you first come down. But, you know, it's, I've never seen a West End show before. I was going to try and catch, you know, a couple of shows while I was down here in my spare time. But it doesn't seem like I've got any spare time these days. So, <laughs> no. no. But, yeah, it would be great to see one at some point. And, uh, Steph, fantastic comments for you this week. You must be thrilled. And John on even predicting uh, a place in the final for you. Uh, I mean, are you feeling that confident? Well, if I wasn't the final, I'd be a very happy bunny. But um, I don't think anyone at this stage can be, you know, too confident. You never know what's going to happen. And what I can do is keep working hard and hope the public vote, really. And uh, talking of working hard, uh, Sophie, you had some mixed comments from the panel. Uh, John felt you needed to work much harder. Do you, th do you think you're putting the work in? You know, I do work hard through the week, but I'm willing to work that 100% extra, you know, to keep going in this competition and uh, Jess uh, Andrew said there that you know a world-class performer your little girl from Middlesbrough must have made your head explode no not really I'm just really <laughs> proud of myself and it's thanks to the borough that I'm the performer I am and that I'm here today so thanks to the borough thanks to the borough Middlesbrough, that is. <laughs> uh, listen, good luck to all of you. Uh, still to come, our Dorothys and Charlotte join forces for an exclusive performance. Plus, we find out who has fallen into the dreaded sing-off. But now for tonight's mission. With so many songs to learn, our Dorothys were praying for an angel to help them. And our sweet Lord certainly delivered in the shape of Charlotte Church. Hallelujah. Today is about really testing the girls' vocals in this beautiful place. I brought them to this location because it has some of the best acoustics I've ever heard. And if there's any cracks or if there's any strain, then it's going to echo throughout this whole place. In my eyes, Charlotte is, I'm just in, in awe of her. I'm really excited, you know, because she's like a big Welsh icon. She's like, the voice of an angel. Thank you. Hello, girls. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. So now, girls, I'm going to work with you one on one individually on the song No More Tears, which is a big. So let's see if we're up to the challenge. The things that I'm going to be looking for today in the girls' voices are tone, their pitch, whether they can hit the note bang on, and their emotion. I'm nervous. I can't breathe. And I'm. This is such a massive week for me, especially after being in the bottom two. I don't know if I'm going to blow Charlotte away, but I really hope I do. Don't panic, ladies. All you need to do is this. I fly. Easy. Enough is enough. Is enough. Two seconds, babe. You look like you're a bit scared of those notes. I, I do. I and get... especially of holding them. I do, yeah. On those notes, you just need to throw caution into the wind and just go with it. I always dreamed I'd find the perfect lover. Just there. So, um, on the, uh, I always dreamed I'd find... Lovely, but I think you also have that natural, I find... I really like it. Maybe Andrew won't, but <laughs> I do. I haven't had a chance to really show my true vocal ability, I don't think, in the past couple of weeks, so it'd be nice for her to hear me. She has to be careful of the sound she produces in a mid-range. It can be a little bit harsh on the ear. But when she lets loose on those top notes, I didn't realise she had it in him. If you've had enough, don't put up with his stuff. I really, really enjoyed Stephanie's performance. I could listen to that voice all day. It's like melting chocolate. You the check, get the bill, you can do it. I was always really worried about Jenny's voice that she put it through her nose all the time. But as soon as she really belted it out, then the whole tone of her voice changed. Just look him in the eye and simply shout. 
Danielle made a very good impression. Okay, I'm just going to stop you one more time there. She got, to me, the most obvious West End voice. Hello. Hiya. I've especially struggled with the past couple of weeks and got a fair bit of uh, criticism. I hope she doesn't shout at me. <laughs> Just literally do this to your face. No more tea! No more tears! Well done, Emily! Just look at me in the eye and sip this show. Vocally, you're pretty flawless. Um, Don't about that. <laughs> no, you really are. She gave me some unbelievable compliments, and I really thank her for, for those compliments. I'm really surprised by all of the girls, and there are probably four that I just think, wow, you could definitely play the role of Dorothy. But Charlotte isn't just here to scrutinise their vocals. She's got a surprise up her sleeve. This song, No More Tears, is your mission song, which you'll be singing on the show. But what you don't know is that I'll be singing it with you. Oh, 